Hi, this is Anjali Baradwa with DMC, and today I'm going to show you how to save documents to SharePoint quickly without duplicates. A common problem that I hear is that it takes a lot of time just to upload a document. Um, the common process that's being used is a document is created from scratch. It is then saved to your PC. You then open up a web browser and you navigate through SharePoint to find the desired document library. You then need to upload the document. So you now you need to browse for your document and upload it to that document library. And if you remember, you should delete that document from your PC so you only have one version of the document and you don't have two different versions and you might forget to update one of them. A much better process would be is if all you had to do was create a new document and save it directly to SharePoint. The question is, how? Simply by adding SharePoint or OneDrive to your favorites, you're able to quickly save documents directly to SharePoint and eliminate a couple of steps. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So first start by going to the site where you're typically saving your documents to. In my case, I have a number of different customer sites where I am saving my project documents. So instead of just choosing one, I choose a high level site that I can then navigate down to. So I'll choose my customer site and find any document library within that site. So I'm going to choose Shared Documents. Then with the Library tab, I click Open with Explorer. Now, depending on how you're signed in, this could take maybe up to 30 seconds and also potentially prompt you for credentials. Um, don't worry, it will come up. From here, you now want to make sure that you navigate to the correct place that you want to drill down from. So I'm going to go up a level, go to Customers, and then go to Projects, because this is typically the area where now I can select which customer I want to save something to, so that's where I'm going to start at. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click on my Favorites and add the current location to Favorites. So now you can see the Projects is added here on the bottom. Now, if I were to start a new document, so let's say I have a template that I have on me my PC, and open that up. So here's a brand new uh, requirements gathering template. I'm going to be doing it, let's just say, for example, for my company ACC. Once I fill in the content of my document, I want to save it. So I'm going to go into the File tab, select Save As, and click Browse. Now I'm able to click on the projects that I just added to my favorites to bring up the list of clients that I have within SharePoint. So if I click here and start typing automation and control concepts, I can quickly navigate to their site and then navigate through SharePoint directly without having to go to the web browser and while having to browse several times for the right location. So I'm going to go in this case to the documents library and we'll just put here testing for blog and click save. So now you can see it's uploading it to SharePoint. If I'm now able to close this document and now we'll go over to the SharePoint site itself and go into uh, the documents. You can see the testing for blog was uploaded a few seconds ago and I now have it um, easily available in my site. Don't have to delete it and only had to do one level of navigation and browsing. So that's it for today. Hope that I helped facilitate uploading your documents to SharePoint. This is Anjali Baradwa and be sure to check out the rest of my blogs.